Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you some products that YouTubers have made me purchase. Now, I know I'm not the only one here. I feel like these days I only purchase something if a YouTuber tells me it's good or not. So this video idea is inspired by Kelly Gooch. She did this video a couple weeks back. I was actually mentioned in her video, which I'm like, little me she took my recommendation thank you so much she's actually going to be on my list as well she made me purchase a couple things as well so her video was inspired by jessica braun so i'm just going to leave both of their video links down below in the description box check them out if you haven't already two beautiful lovely ladies that are so trustworthy with their recommendations so i'll leave their video links down below and their channels i'm sure you guys already know who they are but if you haven't already check them out down below. So I have 10 products here that I want to share with you guys that I purchased from my favorite YouTubers. So hopefully you guys might find some new YouTubers to check out as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the products. So going in the order and the way that I would apply everything, we gotta start off with skincare. And the first item I have here is the Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. And the creator that made me purchase this was Sa Chu or Sarah Chung. Don't even have to hold this up, you already know. Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid. This is the product in every single one of my skincare videos. I've just been loving this since I started using skincare. But it's just so effective at what it does. To me, this will always be the golden standard for BHAs because it's so effective. Sarah always raves about this product in her skincare videos and she has the most beautiful skin ever. She is my skincare queen. So I really took her recommendation with this product and the first time that I tried it, I literally saw a difference overnight. I have mentioned this in monthly favorites already. I've already convinced some of my friends to purchase them as well and I know they love it. To me, it was like a really miracle product. I still use it every day today, um, but I wouldn't say like I see that like overnight difference now, but I know it's still working. I already have a backup of this and this definitely has become a staple and a holy grail product in my skincare routine so thank you so much to Sarah for introducing this because I probably wouldn't even have known of Paula's Choice if she didn't mention it in her video so love love this product and I'm so happy that I did purchase it the next product is also recommended from Sarah as well it's the Milani Prime and Protect SPF 30 primer next is another skincare favorite and I did not think I would be able to find such a good SPF product from the drugstore, but I have. This is the Milani Prime and Protect SPF 30 Face Primer. And today was actually my first time using it. I was holding it off for a little bit just because I have other primers that I'm going through, but I wanted to try it for today's video and get some B-roll shots for you guys. So that's what you're seeing now is my first time using it. And I really do like it. I think it blends in really nicely into the skin. There is no white cast and it's also very hydrating. So I think this is a really great like affordable way to get SPF into your routine. So I really enjoyed this and I had no doubts that I wouldn't like it because Sarah recommended it. My next product is from Supergoop. It's their Unseen Sunscreen and the creator that made me purchase this was Jan M. This is a brand that specializes in anything SPF or sun protection and this is their Unseen Sunscreen. It just blends into the face beautifully, makeup sits well on top of it and it, I mean, there's kind of like a sunscreen smell to it, but it's not overbearing. This sunscreen truly acts as a great base to protect your face. So I feel like Jen was one of the first creators that I really saw talk about super goop like Jen and soothing sister Stephanie. I feel like I didn't really hear anybody else talk about super goop besides them and they raved about it and I was like, okay, like I'm going to purchase this sunscreen is important. I got it. I love it. And now I feel like everybody kind of knows of super goop now and they have such a wide range of different sunscreens for different skin types and stuff like that and I really do like this one for like a makeup base because it has sort of like a silicone type of texture and it smooths out your skin so I really like that underneath makeup and as you can see I am almost out of this but it's a product that I definitely would repurchase and the next product I have is the NYX color correcting concealer palette and the creator that made me purchase this was Hailey Kim so I found this NYX color correcting palette very, very hydrating and has kind of medium coverage so it does not dry out my skin at all. So Hailey has such beautiful skin and I love what she stands for on her channel. She's really about just embracing your natural features and she talked about this palette. I believe it was in her like favorite concealer video or something like that but she said that this one was a really great like affordable option for color correcting and I've been wanting to get into color correcting for my under eyes because they're just so dark but I didn't want to like dive into the 
Becca one because you know Becca is much more expensive and they are closing down now so I bought this one based off her recommendation and I mainly use the salmon shade for color correcting my under eyes and I really do like it sometimes I would just use this one on its own just as a concealer I think it has like decent coverage and the other colors I have dabbled into a little bit but I'm still trying to get the gist of color correcting but so far I have been really enjoying this and I've been using it almost every single day and my next item is the bite beauty change maker flexible coverage press powder and the creator that made me purchase this was Kelly Gooch bite beauty change maker powder I've been wearing the shade 2 it is so smoothing but it doesn't look powdery it's not heavy it's super lightweight so I think it would be good for someone with dry skin who finds that powders look really powdery I like it because it has just this really natural finish to it. When Kelly was describing this powder, I knew I had to try it. And now that I have it, I'm like, wow, this really is the change maker powder because the way it makes your skin look, it like kind of blurs out your skin in a way. I haven't used this powder on its own, like as a powder foundation. I really only use it to set the rest of my face, but I really do see a difference. And typically with pressed powders, I don't really see like a huge difference in my skin, but with this one, I really did. So I just, enjoyed this one so much. So always trust Kelly. I feel like she always has the best recommendations. The next product I have here is from Colourpop. It's their Super Shock Shadow in the shade Waddles. And the creator that made me purchase this was Kathleen Lights. Of course, Waddles. This is like my favorite Super Shock Shadow. It's such a beautiful everyday pinky nude. I don't even know how to describe this shade. So Kathleen talked about this being the perfect one and done eyeshadow and it has been her favorite for a couple years I believe. And when I saw on her I'm like okay I want it so I purchased it and I love it for the reason that Kathleen loves it for I think it's a really great one and done type of shadow it is a satin formulation so I feel like it's like the perfect one and done because if it was a matte maybe you want to go in with a bit of metallic but if it's a metallic maybe it's too metallic this is like the perfect like in between you get a bit of both and the color is very flattering as well it's like a very mauvey pinky type of tone and it works great as an eye base as well I actually use it today as my eyeshadow base and I think it looks amazing underneath my shadows and I think it helps blend the shadows out really well. I use it so frequently as well for someone that doesn't really go in with single shadows that often. I'm using this one quite frequently. And my next product is the Uzi by Flo Fushi Eye Opening Eyeliner and the creator that made me purchase this is my really really good friend Denise Lim. But this is the eye opening liner. I've always just been loving this a lot and it's transfer proof. It's like the blackest of the black as well. Obviously it has a lot of different colors when it comes to it but I only love the black one and even pony effect will love this a lot as well. So she actually gifted me this eyeliner I think maybe almost two years ago now and she let me try it because she was like this is my favorite eyeliner ever and I tried it and I loved it and then ever since then I've been repurchasing this eyeliner time and time again she actually sent me two of these because she just has so many backup of them so thanks to her I have found my holy grail brush tip liquid liner this one is truly the best I've used it multiple times in my videos and I have mentioned it multiple times so thanks to Denise I found my holy grail eyeliner the next product is from Odyssey in it's their Modester Smooth Charged Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. And the creator that made me purchase this was Jaclyn Hill. Favorite eyeliner of the year would have to be the Ardency in, which is another brand that I discovered this year. Amazing. I love their lip products. I love their eyeshadows and their eyeliners. Their eyeliners are the creamiest eyeliners I've ever used. So Jaclyn has such a great way of selling products, I feel. I feel like she hypes up a product so much. And when she talked about this eyeliner and I saw I could get it in New Zealand in the time, I purchased it even though it was a little bit expensive. And it's really like the best like cold pencil eyeliner I've ever used. If you have really watery eyes and no eyeliner will go into your waterline, try this one. I feel like it's a little bit hard to purchase. Even when I Google it, it's really hard to find and even though something comes up when you click on it, it's like sold out. So I don't really know what the deal is. Like I only have this much left and I'm like just trying to hold on to it because it's just like a really precious item because we don't sell this in New Zealand anymore. I haven't used the Urban Decay one or the Marc Jacob ones. Um, I know those like I've heard are really good. It blows my mind how intense it is and how smooth and pigmented it's 
next phase in the waterline so this one is like my favorite eyeliner and my next product is from Milani it's their silky matte bronzing powder and the creator that made me purchase this was once again Kelly Gooch but the number one spot goes to the bronzer that's actually in my project pan right now. I'm wearing this bronzer today. This is from Milani. This is their Silky Matte Bronzer. I have the shade 01, and again, it just feels like butter. This is such a standout from the drugstore. So Kelly raised about this bronzer. I know you guys love it too. You guys also recommended this to me as well. When Kelly mentioned it, it was just like, okay, I have to get it now. Um, I think it's like her favorite bronzer, if I'm not mistaken. She did a video ranking all of her bronzers and I believe this ranked really, really high. So when I saw that it was also affordable, I'm like, okay, I've been in the market for a new bronzer and I want to try this one out and I actually really like the tone on me. I think it's a really great match on my skin tone. Like it's not too dark but it's not too light where it doesn't show up and I think it's a really nice easy bronzer to blend. It goes on the skin very very smoothly, affordable from Milani so I really really enjoyed this one. And the last product I have here is from Essence. It's their All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and the creator that made me purchase this was Andrea. And the last product is something that I really have mentioned so many times my channel but of course I have to share it again it is the essence all about match fixing compact powder this is one of my go-to powders especially during the summertime it's a super mattifying formula so if you have really oily skin or you just need a good touch-up powder for those really hot days this one is perfect you can throw it in your bag with a brush or a sponge and just kind of touch things up but this is a translucent powder and I really like it to mattify my face down um, I'll typically use it at the end of my makeup routine just just because by the time I'm done with my makeup, I am a little bit shiny and I do like to keep semi-matte. So this is a really great powder, it's just to mattify your skin down. I think it does a really great job of doing that without adding on extra like cakey powderiness. And it's essence, it's really really affordable and accessible. So. I really enjoyed this one. So yeah, you guys, those were 10 products that YouTubers have made me purchase. I definitely could do a part two to this video because like I said, I feel like I purchase makeup now only if a YouTuber has recommended it. And the creators that I mentioned in today's video are some of my favorite YouTubers ever. Like I watch them all the time and I really trust their opinion to, you know, spend my own money and purchase the products they recommended. So I will highly recommend all of these beautiful creators. I'm going to link all of them down below and also their videos where they have mentioned these products if I can find the videos. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts down below. I would love to know if I made you purchase anything and what specific Specifically, did I make you purchase? I know Colourpop is like my thing, but like if there's something that's non Colourpop that I made you purchase, I would love to know. I know I made a lot of you guys get into pearls, so like even stuff like that, even if it's lifestyle, I'll love to know. I mean, with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up if you want to see part two as well. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you guys so very much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!